You know, every morning when I wake up, I have a routine. I wake up, I take a shower, I brush my teeth, comb my hair, um, put some clothes on, and I wake up and make my morning cup of tea. And that's pretty much my routine for the day. You know, I go about it and I start my day. But something that I did not pay attention to is what's going on in my head while I am doing my morning routine. The thing about a morning routine is that it becomes, um, the thing about a morning routine is that it becomes automatic, right? You don't think about it. You do the same thing over and over and over again. And it's like, okay, you know, this is my morning routine. Um, you know, nothing special. You do it over and over and over again until it is on autopilot. But what I didn't realize is what my mind was doing while I was doing my morning routine. And what I realized is that when my mind is running on autopilot, when I don't have to think about what I'm doing, my mind takes over. And what it does is it plays back every negative thing that I have ever experienced in my life. Now, I don't usually, like I said, pay attention to those things because, you know, I'm on auto. But this morning while I was brushing my teeth, um, a negative memory came to mind and what it was is that it was an argument that I had with someone or a disagreement that I had with someone and they really got under my skin um, and it messed up my entire day. The bad part about it is that it's still doing that. It's a negative memory that is on auto. It's, it's on loop and it's playing over and over and over again in my mind. I didn't really notice it or pay attention to it before, but my mind is doing these things. It's bringing up negative thoughts and negative memories when I'm not in charge of it. Meaning that anything that I'm doing that I do all the time is running on auto. I don't have to think about it. So when I'm not in charge of my mind, my mind takes over. And it chooses to always go back to these negative thoughts like, what the? Sorry. Um, I'm saying that to say that it, is this something that happens to you? I, you know what? I, I don't even have to ask the question. I, I know it is. Um, I think that I recognized it and acknowledged it because I was reading something the other day on mindfulness and before reading this I never really paid attention I never really paid attention to um, you know being present and the things that being present in what I'm doing at the moment and I'm glad that I read this article because these negative thoughts I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm shocked, okay? I'm shocked that my mind chooses to go back to negative memories. Why isn't my mind 
remembering the time that I was on the beach with my family or the time that as a little girl or when we used to go to the amusement parks or the good time that I had at the French Quarter Festival or the multiple events that I've been to, concerts and movies that brought great joy. What is that? Here's the thing. Now that I am aware that my mind is doing that, I know how to fix it and you can too because I know I'm not the only one I know that I am not the only person whose mind is re is on repeat repeating negative memories I'm sorry I'm still just so shocked I can't believe anyway so Here's what I plan to do, and I hope you plan to do this with me, okay? I am going to start practicing mindfulness. Now, I've already, I've already told you that I've been on this journey to practice healing body, mind, and spirit. And I'm starting this YouTube channel. This is my first video because I want you to take that journey with me. I want you to meet me here every week for a video and finding ourselves and noticing things about ourselves and finding ways to cope and to fix, mend, and heal all of the things that we are attached to, negative things that we're attached to, things that we don't even realize, like this morning, me realizing that when I am on autopilot and I am not in control of my own thoughts and my mind, it takes over. It takes over and it just runs amok. Okay, it runs amok. So what am I going to do? I took notes. Yes, I'm that type of person. I took notes on what was happening and like I said, I realized that I was on autopilot. And then I took note about times when I had negative thoughts. And I realized it was when I'm brushing my teeth, when I'm doing the dishes, when I am folding clothes or, you know, just doing something that takes no thinking at all because you do it so often or I do it so often that it's it's on automatic so now how I'm going to fix this my plan is to be present so when I'm brushing my teeth tomorrow morning what I'm going to do is I am going to take note of how the bristles feel on my teeth the rhythm of the brush okay what the toothpaste tastes like, what the toothpaste feels like, because when I think about it, it's semi-solid on the brush, but then it, be, it turns into somewhat of a foam, right? Um, I know that sounds strange, like you're gonna really do all of that. Yes, I am, because being present is going to help me to get rid of and keep at bay negative thoughts, negative memories, my mind taking over. And in doing so and keeping those negative thoughts and negative memories away, it's going to help me to vibrate higher. It's going to help my spirit to ascend. It's going to help to heal my spirit. If I can maintain positive energy um, on a certain level for a certain amount of time, that will become automatic, right? If I practice being present in everything that I do, then I think, I think 
that I can get rid of all of these negative thoughts and memories and whatnot. Of course, they're still going to be there. They're not going away. They're always going to be there. But I now have control of my thoughts. I have control. Nothing's better than that. So this is the first video in my first step, step, my first step in taking control of my mind. Now, what kind of videos are we going to have on this channel? We're going to have videos that will help to heal and to give solutions. I'm no expert, but I do read a lot. I definitely read a lot and I'm pretty good at working at something and sticking to it and getting a positive outcome because I'm stubborn. I am stubborn, bullheaded, and I want my way, damn it. So <laughs> this is something that I'm going to stick to and I hope that you guys stick to it too. Tell me down below in the comments, do you find yourself like replaying negative memories? It's like on a loop, right? Like replaying, replaying those, those moments over and over and over again. Am I the only one? I, I don't think I am. At least uh, I hope I'm not. But um, if this is something that you suffer from, take this journey with me. Come on and take this journey with me. Subscribe, hit that notification bell because I am literally going to show you my life and my journey 